This year's WCC Male Scholarship, sorry, Postgraduate Scholarship winner carries a 3.91 cumulative GPA in biology and departed campus with the best GPA of all graduating student athletes in his class. A four-year member of the Dean's List and a two-time WCC All-Academic First Team selection, he was a three-year starter and served as team captain as a senior. A second team all WCC selection as a senior, he was recently named the Male Student Athlete of the Year at Loyola Marymount. Since his arrival, he has volunteered extensively at the community at large, benefiting a wide variety of services. He plans to pursue a career as a pediatric orthopedic surgeon and has been accepted to the Georgetown University School of Medicine. Please welcome the 2018 West Coast Conference Male Postgraduate Scholarship winner from Loyola Marymount University, men's soccer student athlete, John Bovel. Well, John, that's an impressive list of accomplishments. How were you able to manage your time as a top student, all-conference athlete, and volunteering on top of it all? Uh, similar to like what happened at Pepperdine, it's like time management. Um, going to a Jesuit high school, uh, I was also instilled early upon like emailing teachers before you're traveling, staying on top of your work, never falling behind. Uh, most importantly, I kept a planner with me like almost at all times, uh, always tracking down when I practice, when you're going to put time away to put your phone down and actually do your work. It's a big problem nowadays with a lot of my friends and teammates. Uh, and probably most importantly, like just having my friends and like my parents and my coaches staying on top of you, working with our advisors um, in athletics and outside of it. Uh, just making sure that at the end of the day, you know that you're not leaving anything like to the last minute and that you know that tomorrow when you wake up at like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. to go to morning practice that your only worry is to focus on what you have next, not leave anything like for after practice to like rush and get done before you go to class. In your application, you noted your plan is to attend Georgetown University School of Medicine in the fall of 2019 with goals to become a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. You also said specifically you wanted to help young athletes with injuries, uh, as was done to you. What specifically sparked your interest in this career? First and foremost, I want to correct, I'm applying to Georgetown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's in 2019, so we won't be starting there until then, hopefully. Um, but as a pediatric orthopedic surgeon, it's kind of... I go one way or the other. I want to be like a pediatric, um, more clinical side, or just an orthopedic surgeon. In an ideal world, it'd be like sports medicine, just coming from the sports background. Um, have a family that my mom's a nurse, dad's a surgeon. Um, I've been around it my entire life, and as myself, I've broken about every bone you can think of. Uh, and just growing up, I always had the surgeons or doctors or nurses that were working with me. As I'm coming into them, seeing them pretty regularly, uh, as my parents love it. And they're being able to just stay composed, like, hey, I'm gonna work with you. I'm gonna make sure that you're on the field or back in the practice, on the court, wherever you may be, as soon as possible, just that you trust me. And I just felt really nice having like, such like great care growing up, knowing that like I'm being well taken care of. Um, it takes a stressor off of me that I know that I'll return to my sport and that it will tell me I continue, even especially with what has happened in the past. And your volunteer work includes helping disadvantaged children interact with soccer at LAFC, mentoring kids in Costa Rica through soccer, and this past fall aiding in the relief efforts post-Hurricane Irma, just to list a few. What is it about giving back to the community that you find so vital? Um, just, again, going back to where like a Jesuit institution, both high school and graduate, um, being a person for others, men, women for others. Um, I think it's a long, a long conference. It's like some conference-wide, everyone values that, and especially at LMU. Um, I attribute a lot to like our program, a soccer program. Um, it's something that doesn't like, go past a semester where we're not doing service as a team or as individuals. It's something that both our athletic program and our individually our soccer program instills. Once you get there, they tell you you're not just here to be an athlete, you're here to be a student be an athletic and you're also here to get a person for the community and just going along with that is something that we do as a team and after I remember one time after we first LAFC we were working with these students our young kids and students um, in the program there and I remember them looking up at me and be like how did you do it and we spent like 30 minutes as a team answering questions for them and then just watching them like almost like some were taking notes like okay I want to be like some come up to you like I want to be like you when I'm older 
And after that, I just started working here and there to try and help them and be like a mentor for any of the kids if they had any questions about how to get to where we were. Looking back on your efforts on the pitch, in the classroom, and all the volunteering in the community, what sticks out to you as the most memorable at your time at LMU? It would have to be our trip to Costa Rica as a team this last uh, this last summer. It was a great experience all around, both soccer um, as building team chemistry, um, getting to know the people there, working with the, the kids who worked there at the Durgan Soccer Clinic. Uh, just during that time, being able to travel as a team across across like, across the world, just going south, but. Uh, being able, like every day waking up in such a great place, knowing you're with, you're with your friends, people you want to spend most of your time with. Some days, no, but most of the time, it's, it was a good experience. And overall, it's like when I think of like the best memory I had is just waking up on like a with a, uh, opening the door to like a sandy beach. We did have to do a few sprints up and down it, but other than that, it was a great time. And John, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, just like everyone else here, I just want to say thank you to the WCC, to LMU for the opportunity, and. Uh, to aid in, in my future career. Um, I really appreciate it as it's going to be a long haul, but I'm up for it and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's helped me along the way, especially my parents. My dad's here. I think he's proud. I'm not sure, but <laughs> work on it. Get a yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.